how to prep the, the presentation software that uses motion, zoom, and spatial relationship to bring your ideas to life and make you a great presenter. This video will show you how to use Prezi. First, you have to have an account with Prezi. As you can see from the website, on the top right hand corner, there is a login button. Please click on it. If you do not have an account with Prezi, click sign up. Alternatively, you can click login with Facebook or login with Google. So there are two options. You can either click on basic to enjoy the basic features or plus to enjoy the, the better features with a fee. By clicking on the individual tab, there is also different type of packages for you to choose from. So I've selected the basic free account and I've filled out the details of myself. So after you have signed up, you'll be directed to this page. Click on the button which best describes the reason why you're using Prezi. To create a brand new presentation, click on New Presentation. If you'd like to know more about the features of Prezi, click on Getting Started. I've selected, a brand, I've selected to create a brand new presentation. Prezi offers a wide range of templates that you can choose from the different categories. Choose one that best fits the type of presentation you want to go for. I've chosen Simple Template. After choosing the template, select Use this template. Write down the topic or subtopic and feel free to insert pictures from clicking insert. You can add pictures, charts, videos and shapes to make your presentation more colourful and engaging. Create a presentation that will best deliver your point of your points and be more visually appealing in order to create your audience engage. The, the circle which says the guide should be your start point. By clicking on it, it should bring you to the next slide. Take for example, I'm using Prezi to show people how to use Prezi. So when I click on the guide, as you can see in the red circle over there, it will bring me to the next slide. So then I'll go into more details about using Prezi here. This slide could be my content page or things I want to go through. So take for example, if I want to, if I want to present a huge business idea, this will then be my content page for that huge business idea that I want to go through that day. So as I do up my um, content page, each time I, when I click on the different circles, it should bring me to the new slide. For example, if I wish to know more about choosing a design, I click on that button and it should bring me to a fresh new page all about choosing a design. So as you can see, so these are the steps on choosing a design template after I click on that, that bubble over there. So you might also want to add more animations. So by right clicking anywhere on the slide, you're able to add animation, edit the background and theme, and also add a new topic, etc, etc. You can also play around with Prezi here to know more of the style that you want to go for. So this is how your slide should look like in the present mode. By clicking on the bubble, bubbles at the slide, it should direct you to the slide that talks more about the topic. Let's say I want to talk more about, uh, let's say I want to go on to the topic of brainstorming. So I'll click on brainstorming and it should bring me to a brand new slide all about brainstorming. So you also can also explore more on the toolbar regarding the font size, fonts, colors in order to make your slides more outstanding. With that, we've come to the end of this video. We hope that you'll learn a little bit more about Prezi, which is a completely different way of presenting your ideas. So thank you for watching this video with Aventis.